Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to download the syringe parts and mounting brackets for the syringe in the HydroBot project. So we'll go ahead and again come in. We're going to uh, right click and download each specific part so that we have these in our download folder. And then we'll go ahead and start working with putting these together. Now, um, I also have a an assembled file uh, in there, but I want you to also use this uh, video to go ahead and create an assembly. The reason why I want you to do that is so you know how they get put together. So we'll go ahead and hit file. We're going to go hit new and we're going to go hit a standard IAM and create. And now we're going to go ahead and bring all these parts in. So we're going to go into place and since I know they're in my downloads, I'm going to go ahead and just pull uh, all of these in here. So I have the mount, the second mount, plunger body, um, and I'm going to go ahead and pull these in. Make sure I have them all here and drop that into position. Now, you see that I have the mounts here. Oh, I'm missing the major uh, mount here on that body, so we're going to have to go and get that. All right, so there it is. So I went and pulled that other mount in, downloaded it, pulled it in. So I have it here now. So now let's go ahead and start assembling this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's put this plunger in. So we'll go ahead and use an insert constraint. I want the bottom of that plunger to be aligned with the bottom of the part here. So we select it. Obviously, I don't want it sticking out that way. Change the solution, and now it's inside the part. Now, what I'm going to continue to do is I want to say here that this offset is going to become the minimum. That's as far down as it can go, obviously. Now, let's set a maximum on how far it can move out. So if I use 3.5, it can only move up 3.5 inches. So I'll hit Apply, Cancel, and then you can see it can move. Now, the other syringe is also floating, or the syringe is floating, so let's ground that. We'll right-click and hit Grounded. Then you can really see how this is going to move. And then you can see it actually spins. Well, that's actually the motion that occurs in the plunger. So, so we can leave that be. Now we're ready to go ahead and set up the brackets onto the uh, assembly here. So we'll go ahead and I will grab constraint. And I want to use the center axis. Wait for it to pop up. Right. Well, there it is. So I'm going to run center axis to center axis of the object. And let's just flip that thing around here. So change the solution so that it lines up. So that's good. So we'll hit apply and then cancel because I don't want to show you this can slide and move around. OK, so this is all fine and good. Doesn't really matter uh, orientation just yet. But we're going to go ahead and fix that next position because we'll go ahead and hit constrain. I'm going to use a uh, oppositional mate and I'm going to select that surface inside there because what happens is it then touches that surface. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Now, this will still spin around, which obviously isn't right either. So what we're going to do is I'm going to then constrain again. I'm going to go ahead and grab angle this time. And this is a simple angle. OK, and I'm going to then tell it this surface right here and this surface here. So that surface and the edge of the syringe there need to be set to a zero angle. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply again and then cancel. And then what I should be able to do is move this back and forth and then this not move. So that's now fixed and that's in position. That's good. So what we can do next is let's just see, are we still set here on a good isometric plane? Yep, everything is looking nice and smooth and clean as far as being aligned to a work surface. And we can go ahead and look at these two mounts. Now, this is part of the reason why I want you to have this and know how to do this is you may need to swap these mounts out. So um, how do you swap them out? Well, let's just take and we'll go ahead and apply this one first. So we'll go ahead, turn this thing, and let's just say I need this to be in the same plane as this. So we'll do this again, and we'll set this. We'll say let's do that angle constraint, and I'm going to say zero angle to zero angle. Hit apply. Good. So now that can't turn. Now I want it to come up, and we're going to then say let's do center axis of that rounded feature with center axis of this rounded feature. Okay. Now they're in position. We're going to apply. Now you can still slide it though. So now we've got to lock that into position and just keep removing degrees of freedom. And I'm going to say, let's do that surface, turn it to here with this surface in the oppositional constraint and apply cancel. And now that is now moving my plunger. So if I were to come over here and then I right click on that insert, hit the drive tool, you can see that now my plunger is actually functioning off of the drive. Now, if you wanted to go and swap this out, obviously what you could do, um, set up, you can suppress that whole part. And now we'll go ahead and constrain this center axis. We'll find center axis to center axis here. Whoop. 
there we go, center axis, hit apply. Then we'll go ahead and constrain surfaces. Should be able to take, slide that off. And we're going to go ahead and do this inside surface here to this face here. That's applied. And then lastly, we'll do an angle constraint from this face to this face. Whoops. At a simple angle at a zero degree. And now everything is aligned. So what we could do is we can actually then turn this suppression off, turn this suppression off and on. So you can change, whoops, not that part. So you can change these parts and pieces, what's showing up and what's not. So now they're all on here. I don't need them all on here. So we'll go ahead and I will suppress that feature. Or I can then say, let's go ahead and suppress this feature instead. All right, to see which one we want to work with in the particular assembly. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, work through manipulating and setting up your uh, assembly of the syringe uh, as we work with it in the project. Don't forget to save.